A photon is defined as the smallest divisionable unit of light energy. These are the definitions we have constructed to help place a label on what we define as the smallest divisionable unit of anything observable through the third dimensional physicality. It has been generally accepted that the model of consciousness perfectly describes the scientific observations of particle movement on this level. A quark or energy particle can exist in two spaces at the same time without travelling through the intervening space. Furthermore, the particle that is observed is only at the point in space where it is being observed. In other words, this particle isn't there when we take our conscious attention to it. So it's like when you think you're seeing something like out the corner of your eye, but you didn't really see it. That could, that could be what spirits are. But when we actually consciously try and look for it, we don't see it. So you might be saying, so what? You cannot travel from point A to point B without taking some time to get there. However, you can experience the flow of time without doing any change in physical space. You can just float in still space, for example, theoretically, and just experience one minute passing while staying stationary. Going back to the photon particles, say we are all of a sudden in a region of space where there are excess positrons, that is the smallest particle with a positive charge. Electrons are the smallest divisible negative charge, but because the negative charge is a lack of the charge, it needs to fill its void. Just like a black hole sucks in everything, even light. Our civilization and technology is based on electricity, which uses the movement of electrons to fill in their void. The power of all our machines, therefore, all our cities are in excess of electronic signals, which are EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, such as those emitted from television, radio, computers. This stuff is bad for us, and we need our positrons to keep our molecules spinning in the direction of the sacred geometry of the universe. Science is just recently starting to realise the damaging effects of EMF waves from technology. When we hit the photon belt, it will be sort of a cleansing period because the excess photon energy will rebalance the excess negative electron energies that we have built up in our technologies. Thus, the warning that some electricity will not work. Mm -hmm.